So you want to become a pro baller and commit your life to the dream of playing football for a living. But you realize there are one or two major figures in your life who aren't the biggest fans of you risking everything to achieve this fantasy. To you, pursuing your dream is the only thing that matters. But to your parents, the risk is just too high. And they would rather you go down the conventional 9 to 5 or university path. They see how much you love the game. They see how hard you're working towards it, but to them the idea of you getting paid to play football still seems like a fantasy. If any of this sounds like you, you're in the right place my friend. I, as well as many others around me, have had the same battle and through that, I've been able to find some pretty good strategies for convincing your parents that this is the path for you and even getting their full support along the way. Before we get into the different options you have, let's discuss a key mindset that will be essential for this process and that is realizing that your parents probably care about you more than anyone else on this planet. And although you can be incredibly frustrated with what seems like a lack of faith and belief in you, you have to understand their perspective and realize that yes, there are a lot of players who didn't make it and the chances of going pro statistically are very small. Understanding their side of the story will help you better formulate your argument as you can empathize with their feelings and find a solution that works for both parties. You will also have a lot less anger throughout this period and stop seeing them as the enemy and instead see them as allies who just want to see you have the best life possible. You have to have the mindset that if they aren't convinced, your argument or plan simply isn't good enough or they aren't going to believe it until they see it. In that case, the tactics we'll discuss now will be essential. Having different options is essential when convincing parents and that's what I hope to offer you here. By showing different options, it shows you've done your research and I encourage you to research even further after this video on any options that interest you. Option number one, joining a pro academy in your preteen or teenage years will undoubtedly ease a few of your parents' concerns as it shows you now have a clear path to achieving your dream of playing pro. Academies are some of the most competitive and ruthless places on earth. One bad game and it could be months before you see the field again. If you are serious about this dream and willing to do whatever it takes to achieve it, an academy will be an amazing place for you, with high level coaches, teammates and facilities. Your game will skyrocket under these conditions with the correct mindset. However, I understand that if you're watching this video, joining a pro academy might not be that realistic of an option, which is completely fine as there are plenty of ways to skin a cat, and an academy is just the most conventional way. But if this is an option, I highly recommend it. Option number two. The US college route has skyrocketed as a potential option for 18 to 24 year old footballers over the last decade or so and is a terrific option to get a taste of the pro life. With the US college route you find your way to a US college whether it be through a scholarship or trials. I could make a full video on what steps you need to take to make this option a reality but no you will most likely need an agent which can be expensive as well as getting flights and other things that will add up. But once you get your spot on a college team, you will be in a full-time training environment that is incredibly competitive, will have great facilities, and you get a degree at the end of it as well. If you have parents who believe getting higher education is essential, then this could be a path for you. There have been a lot of players who have gone pro after going through the US college route, and that number will only grow in the following years, especially with the influence of a player like Messi on US soccer. It is surprisingly achievable to get a partial scholarship as long as you have some good footage, a good agent, and good referrals from your coach. The upsides with this path are that you get a full-time education, you get top quality facilities, you're in a competitive kill or be killed environment, which is very similar to how pro football will be, and you get to live in America and experience the college lifestyle. The downside that this is a very expensive path is agent fees, flights, and of course university fees add up very quickly and will set you back. Another downside is that outside of your team training, classes and study, you will have a very limited time to train in your own time or do anything else that's important to you. Full-time study will 100% take away from your football career, but for a lot of you, it's a sacrifice you may be willing to take for all the other benefits that come along with it. If you aren't keen on the idea of having to spend all the money and time it takes to study for the US college route, a terrific option is pursuing coaching or refereeing qualifications. Coaching and refereeing are great ways to earn money while supplementing your football journey as of course you get paid, but you're getting paid to learn more about the game, create connections and networks within the game, and it shows your parents that you have a plan B if playing pro fails. The club you play for currently should be able to offer you some coaching or refereeing even if it's volunteering at first, but I recommend doing this so you can see if you enjoy it first. Especially with coaching, I believe you will see improvements in your game as teaching is one of the best ways to learn and cement ideas in your mind. It's one thing knowing something subconsciously, 
but it expands your mind and understanding of the topic when you have to explain it to someone in a way anyone could understand. Another upside is you earn some pretty good pocket money and with higher qualifications and more experience comes more money. And it could even lead to a full-time job as a coach or referee in the future. Now to talk about my favorite option on here by far and one you will hear me talk about a lot in the future of this channel, the footballpreneur. A footballpreneur is an entrepreneur who uses their expertise in football, their personal brand and their following to create opportunities for themselves that few could get access to. With the footballpreneur model, you build up a following through whatever social media or platform you choose by creating entertaining or informative football content. I would recommend trying to at least balance entertainment with education as being known purely for entertainment will make monetization much harder down the line. After you have built a following, no matter how big it is, there are plenty of ways to make your first dollar. You could offer online coaching, sell a program or course, do affiliate marketing for another person's offer, or just go for sponsorships and brand deals. The leverage a personal brand gives you is still so underrated and underappreciated. If you take this footballpreneur journey seriously, your entire life can be based around you pursuing your football dreams, documenting as much of the journey as possible while educating along the way. And in return, you will make a lot of money, get a ton of opportunities that other players will simply never get. And you will have an incredible network if done correctly. This is 100% the best route to go if you want to unlock financial, time and location freedom which I believe are necessities to a good life. But they will also help you out on this journey to achieving your football dreams tremendously. Not only will your following give you opportunities like trials at different clubs, but the freedom you have means you can focus completely on getting as much training as possible, getting the best training possible, the best food, the best equipment, the best coaches, and you can travel around the world, whether it's for trialing, for training, or anything else you need. The world is your oyster. In my opinion, there is such a gap in the market for high quality football content creators and also a lack of good quality football products and services. If you're interested in doing a full deep dive on the footballpreneur model, I have made a completely free guide on the footballpreneur in the top link in the description. It will ask for your email and you will get some emails from me, but I believe those as well as the free guide will be well worth your time. Some parents may not see how creating a following and becoming a footballpreneur will lead to a steady income for you but make sure you discuss how much leverage you will have and explain the opportunities that will open through your following and platform, both in the football and business world. Guys, if you've made it this far in the video and want to achieve your football goals faster and become the best player on your team, I've just spent the last two weeks creating a completely free ebook on how to do exactly that. It's called how to become a pro footballer without getting lucky. This is only for the serious action takers. So if that's you, click the first link in the description. There's no catch, I just want you guys to actually get results and achieve your football goals, unlike these other YouTubers who just want you to binge watch their videos and stay addicted to consuming content. Anyway, for those of you interested, click the first link in the description. Okay, now that you have different options for how you can convince your parents to pursue your dream, after you've done some further research and thought on your own about what the best option for you is, I recommend you have a chat with your parents and present your ideas and listen to their concerns and queries. More than likely, if you approach this conversation with respect and show you are listening, they will probably raise some good points that you hadn't considered before. If after this conversation, they still aren't convinced, you're going to have to show by doing. Actually taking action on your chosen path and making progress towards it. This means actively working towards your goal each day, doing extra training, doing some footballpreneur stuff on the side, setting yourself up financially and performing at your best in games. Over time, they will see how much this means to you and they will most likely start supporting you. If they don't, remember the mindset we discussed earlier. It's my fault they aren't convinced yet. What are they not seeing that I see? Ask yourself that question and you will find the answer. I would like to think that all of your parents just think they're being realistic and don't actually want to see you quit on your dream. It's just up to you to show them it's possible. I hope this video has expanded your mind to the possibilities of the footballing world and showed you that there are so many ways to secure your future while doing the thing you love. I and many other footballers have gone through a similar journey you are about to embark on and believe me when I say that having your parents on your team is always better than having them as your opposition. If you want to ask further questions about anything in this video, comment down below or if you want closer, more personal access to me and a group of hungry footballpreneurs and ambitious footballers, you can join my free Discord in the link in the description where other hungry top ballers are networking right now and getting personal access to me and other top ballers in the community. Now is the time I need you to take action and further research at least one of the options I gave you in this video. Do not let this be another video you consume and never think about it again. 
sitting in your brain like fat stored in the body. Now is the time to choose your next move on the chessboard of life. Choose wisely, my friend.